Greetings and welcome back to Opus Magnum. I'm Catherine of Sky, and it looks like I don't know if we have more quests here, but we are on the last one that's been revealed so far. Um, Precision Machine Oil. Oh dear, oh dear. What is it now? Apparently Armand arranged for Frederick to go on a date with the young lady from another house. Oh dear. And now I have to make some machine oil. You what? For the observatory. Frederick tied to take her there, but everything was rusted solid. Of course. Even better. The Clara, the young lady, is from House Soria. He was probably hoping to prove our observatory is just as good as theirs. Oh, she must have been tremendously impressed all around. Yes, no kidding. I'm surprised that all of this stuff is broken down. It looks like their previous alchemists really couldn't get anything done. Okay, we have stuff things to do. What the heck are those things? We need to figure out how to make those things. I don't know what those are. How to get them. Ah, lead plus quicksilver. Right, we need to figure out how to get this. How many um, iterations this is going to take to get this going? Um, yeah, there we go. Right. Let's just get this sorted out that way, and we'll try to get these other things organized as best we can. All right, let's get our arm here. Uh, we're one and two, we're gonna pick up. Then we're going to, two is going to reverse A and D, right? And then one is going to stay right where it is, and two is going to reset, and then do it again. Let's see, that's two repetitions. Oh, it's just the one. Okay, it's just one time that we need to, to change it, so we don't even need to repeat this. All right, so after this happens, we need to transfer this stuff. Can I do it there? Could go that way and that way. That might be a good idea. Okay, so I think we'll change this to a piston arm here. All right, so after this one is done, we can move this guy um, go, let's see, one, two, to the right, D, right, D, D, um, and then extend W. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that, can we? No, 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 definitely not. This is tricky. This is very tricky. <laughs> Right. Yeah, well, this is all in a straight line. So what we need to do is put that there, right? Um, okay, I have an idea of how I want to do this. We're going to put this thing in there. Have it rotate twice, right? And then drop the thing. Uh, or maybe even reset. Okay. As that is happening, we're going to get a piston arm on a little track here. Uh, it's not that. Okay. There we go. want to have our reagent this one go across take that one to that one and then extend there so we're gonna need our piston arm there um, okay and then once we put it in there and that one is there we need to take this thing and move it over one 
I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's see how we can do that. And we want to align it with this kind of thing there. This one is going to swing around this way. So we want this one to go after that one does its thing. Uh, and while it resets. Uh, okay, so let me think about this. Right, when this one is resetting, um, we can actually start this. Let's just start it at the beginning. Let's start right, maybe like right here. It's going to take one two, three instructions to put it down. One, two, three. So maybe start here, pick up, slide to the left, T, then push forward, W, and then that one's going to drop it. And this one's going to um, we need to make one more adjustment to this track. Can I, can I please have track, track, work? Can I not? <laughs> it doesn't want to go. No. Let's try it longer. Can we? I want it three. Okay, there we go. Right. Um, right. So we extended it here. And then we want to move one more thing. In fact, this one needs to be posit to the positive side because I put the track in differently than we had it last time. Uh, and then drop. Actually, don't drop. Just leave it. Okay, let's step through this. Right, these are going that way. That one's going there. Oh, this one doesn't need that. Oh, dear me. All right. Okay. Don't, don't, don't do this, KOS. No, no needing. Don't need that. We got confused. Sorry. Uh, right. This whole thing can move this way. In fact, oopsies. No, this one. There, there, there. Like that. Okay. Very nice. So this one only needs to move to the left. Uh, and does not need to extend at all. This one just goes that way. We need this to clear though stuff. Let's see if that's going to align. Nope. Because this one needs to extend that that way. Okay, so number one, after you put that there, you need to extend your arm out, W. Okay, let's try that. Boom, right. And then that one resets. And three, meanwhile, can move again. Let's go G, like that, right, right, all good, <laughs> uh, let's see, and this one can also repeat, two can repeat, okay, let's see what this does, extend, then that one moves, ah, and we need number one to reset. Okay, so three, that one's fine, but one needs more time to reset. I think we'll just repeat this like right there. And then we'll have new instructions for one, which is gonna be our D. D, wait, yeah, D, D, and then extend with W. No, no, that doesn't fit, does it? Oh, this might be a problem. 
Um, shoot. Because this one can only put this one there. Oh, darn it. This is tricky. Oh my god, this is tricky. I could move this thing there, though. Out of here. Let's see what's... I just want to check what's going on again. Okay. That one goes there. What I need to do, I think, is move this out and have this um, go on the other way. Okay, so let's stop this and change this a little bit. Let's just make this longer and move it over. And have this thing over there instead. Okay, so let's keep that there. Uh, and instead we want to put this in the other way. And then we'll place that there, I think. I don't know. Okay. I think that might be better. So let's go with our number three instruction. Okay. This is going to go move, move, go one, two, There we go. Step through this. Extend. Okay. That's this instruction right here where everything is resetting. Now three needs to pivot it twice. Right there. Okay, so three. Let's pivot you two times. Uh, Q wise. There we go. Let's see how that works. Why did it not pivot it twice? Maybe I pivoted the wrong way. Let's try E. We need to do it three times in any case. Two, three. Why did it not pivot the other time? Maybe that one was still attached. I'm thinking that might be it. Okay, let's try it this way. Two, three. Okay, there we go. And then we can do a very similar instruction there. Okay, so now we've gotten this one to go back. Um, we played through this thing. We need to grab this thing at the bottom. Um, we can actually repeat this whole process, I think. Because it's going to put it in the same area anyway. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Boom. Oopsie, stop, 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 stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, after that is done... Uh, then we just take arm number three and we grab the thing. It's going to be holding on to, we need to go, make it go forward one on G, G track. Where does this happen? I don't know. Maybe here. Uh, and then push it forward W. Um, and then we can reset C for all of them. Okay, let's try this. Okay, there we go. We got it sorted now. Okay, this is exciting. Yay! <laughs> nice. I like creating these little machines. It's so cool. Nice. Very cool. Excellent. Okay, cool. Very, very nice. Let's record our GIF and exit to the main menu. Right, go to the menu. Well, Frederick's dates at the observatory ought to go better now. Maybe he and Clara could have have a do-over. 
I don't think it works like that. Do you see any other choices? For Clara Soria, I believe House Colvin has a young man around Frederick's age. Maybe that's what Armand is trying to prevent, no? Quite likely. Pity he has only Frederick to work with. One can only play the game with the pieces one has. Hmm. Oh, there's more. Okay, Sigmar's Garden. What's this? Seeing a transmute transmutation engine in action is giving me fond memories of playing Sigmar's Garden. Sigmar's what? You've never played Sigmar's Garden? I thought everyone knew this game. You put marbles in a certain pattern and... Marbles? Isn't that what those are? They're elemental proxies, glass spheres that represent various types of atoms. Little glass spheres are commonly known as marbles. <laughs> we never call them marbles. To anyone who's not a highly trained alchemist, that's what they are. Now, am I going to teach you how to play Sigmar's Garden or what? Fine, I suppose. The goal is to clear the board by matching marbles. You select a free marble, then pick a matching marble to clear them both from the board. A marble is only free if it has three connected open spaces next to it. Um, the open spaces have to be next to each other. Luckily, spaces off the board count as empty spaces. The four cardinal elements match with others of their, tarp, of their type or with salt. You can also match salt with another salt. Vitae and Moors will only match with their opposite. Oh my god, what does that mean? Um, and the metals will match with Quicksilver, but you can only match them in the order of their transmutation from lead to gold. Oh my god, this is going to require, like, memory. Uh, right, let's try it. <laughs> yeah, those work. Um, these things will go together. These guys will go. I don't know what to match with this thing. This looks like one of the... Okay, that's probably the Quicksilver. One was Quicksilver probably and the other was something else. These go to get... No, they don't. Why are these not going? Probably they're metals that need to be matched with Quicksilver. No. No? <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of um, Mahjong, sort of. Oh boy. Yeah, and my memory for remembering the order of the metals is severely inconvenient. I think I'm dead. Am I dead? Oh no, apparently not. These guys do not want to match with each other, that's for darn sure. That doesn't match either. So none of these match. <laughs> I think I'm dead. No, I'm blocked. Okay, we're just gonna... Optional? Good, I'm glad it's optional. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at this. Right. Common alchem alchemical primes and their transmutations. Uh, everything around us is made from combinations of a small number of underlying elements. By studying these elements and their transmutations, the alchemist learns to understand the workings of the universe itself. Okay, so Vitae is this one. Can I not like have a side thing? Um, so these are the quicksilver that changes our lead to tin, iron, copper, silver, gold. That's cool. I like the way that's arranged. These will, uh, match with these, and those will match with more. So fire and earth match with the dark stuff, and vitae are air and water. This is water. So what's this again? Let's see. That one is the little thing with the horns. Oh, that's Quicksilver. Right. We have nothing approaching Quicksilver. I think we're kind of dead. Can I, like, get out of here? <laughs> I don't want to play this. <laughs> it's just not my thing. Uh, right. Well, I guess we're going to try it. we got to have one more go. But I think it's more of a strategy thing where you have to think ahead and figure out what you need to do. But I also feel like the um, maybe matching Quicksilver is one of the most important things. Okay, that gold cannot be matched, I guess. Uh, let's get let's get this one and that one. These two. Ooh, gold. Gold and gold can be matched. Right. 
this can be matched with Quicksilver. Yes, there we go. This is also a Quicksilverable thingy. Let's see if we can do any better than last time. Here's a Quicksilver. Yay. These two? Nope. Is, oh, that's, um... Can this match with that? No. This one will go. No? Really? I feel like I'm in trouble again. What did they say about Vitae and Mors again? The... What was salt? You can match salt with another salt. Vitae and Mors will only match with their opposites. So these, oopsie, this one and that and this one should match. Yes, okay, cool. We got those to match. That was nice. So those go. That one should go. Gold. Does that go with Quicksilver? Probably not. Ooh, a moon. What's moon again? Let's see. What is salt? I kind of forgot what salt looks like. Oh, it's the... Oh, that's gold. Whoops. They're both O symbols. Uh, this one has a bar, of course, and that one a dot. Okay, so salt matches with the elements. Oh, dear. Um, is that one gold? No, that's salt. Let's get these guys. And then salt, we can match with that. And the moon is what? Silver. Okay, so that needs to match with quicksilver. I'm having a hard time with, there's so many different new symbols to learn. Can we actually win this? Oh my god, maybe. Right, we have gold. This one matches with this and the... Aha! We have one left. Boom! Oh my god, I actually won. <laughs> it was interesting. Fun, isn't it? This is not how alchemy works. This cardinal elements, for example. It's just a little amusement, Amateus. When we were children, we used to sneak in here and play it when the alchemist was away. What? You were totally unsupervised near a transmutation engine? We only use marbles, Amateus. Calm yourself. They're not marbles, the representations of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. They're also little glass spheres. I'll flick one at you. Oh, stop it. You can't play with delicate equipment like this. They're far cheaper than the rest of your kit, you know, being that they are marbles. <laughs> I'd still appreciate it if you didn't treat them so casually. Well, we did that for years. You really had no idea about Sigmar's garden? Not at all. Why would the university bother to teach someone so some something so frivolous? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna win 10 games to continue. We're gonna get out of here. And that will be our episode for today, because we're out of time. Uh, but in the next one, we will be taking on the next puzzle. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.